Hi, this is Dave, and I'm going to show you today how to fix the Windows 10 control panel uh, bug that causes it to crash instantly to back to the desktop on some computers uh, running Windows 10. You click start, and you go to the control panel, and this is what happens. Uh, it shows up for a second, then it, it may disappear on you. So to fix it, it's related to the uh, IDT uh, audio driver that may have been on your computer at some point. So you got to go to uh, Windows Explorer and then click on. Uh, you want to go to the System 32 folder. So go to this PC and then C column and then Windows and then System32 okay and then in the System32 folder just be really careful what you delete in here you're just gonna search you gotta type you gotta click in here once and then type I on your keyboard to get a few times to get to the I files once you get to the, the files beginning with the letter I and you're going to scroll down to uh, IDT. <clears throat> so you see the, you're going to see a file called IDTNC64.CPL. And this is the old IDT driver that's conflicting with the control panel. Oh, and another file you may see in your Windows folder, not the Windows System 32, but Windows, is this file, the STTray64, relating to IDT PC Audio. It's just a remnant of probably an old installation or something you might have had relating to IDT on your computer. In that case, just delete that file, STTray64 out of the Windows folder. That's what I did. And if you don't see the ending, the file extension ending of the file .cpl, you have to go to uh, properties of the uh, options. You gotta click view on the file explorer, type click options, drop down next to options, and click change folder and search options then in the properties box folder options you, get, you click the view tab and then click uncheck hide extension for known file types click uh, OK now you can see the the uh, CPL files or whatever files are in there especially the uh, IDTNC64.cpl file that you need to delete. Now you can see all the file extensions. So click on this file and just delete it to the recycle bin for now. So you can be sure that that's the fix. If you, in case you need it later, you can you can restore the file you deleted. But I'm going to delete this. This IDT and c64.cpl file. Click delete and it's gone. You may get a prompt but just uh, click yes that you want to delete it. Now it's, it's not there anymore. So now you can see this was I mean this was the file in my case that was causing this computer to crash so uh, you can see the start menu uh, control panel and you can see that now the control panel is working again. <clears throat> so you can get to anything from here now. Now it's working. Go to your programs, and uninstall a program, whatever you need to do again. So thanks for watching and I uh, hope this fixes your issue that you're having with the control panel crashing on Windows 10.